I realized I wasn't in with my WCU credentials. I was like, I can see everyone but me. Oh. Um, to all of our attendees that are in right now, um, we're going to start around 645. So right now we just have a slideshow going of our faculty and staff with their thank you messages. Um, so if you just want to hang tight for a few minutes, we will get started soon. Thank you. Hi, for everyone that may have just joined us, um, we're gonna wait a few more minutes while folks get settled in. We have a slideshow going from our faculty and staff with their congratulatory messages. So if you just wanna hang tight for a few minutes, we will get started soon. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We, so, we are so excited that there are 90 of you, 91, 91 of you tonight joining us for the um, Alpha 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 induction ceremony. So welcome. My name is Devin Skolshevsky, and I want to thank you for being here today to celebrate the induction of our new members into the Alpha 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 Honor Society, recognizing the academic achievements of first generation college students. Amy Pajeski and I are the co-advisors of this chapter, the Alpha Iota chapter at Westchester University, and both of us were first generation college students within our families. Tonight, we'd like to welcome people from across campus and Tri Alpha's national office to help celebrate your achievements. Our first speaker, we are so excited to welcome the Westchester University president, um, Dr. Christopher Ferentino. Well, thank you very much and, and good evening and a very warm welcome to the students, families, friends, faculty and staff who are joining us. I'm very pleased to be here to recognize this prestigious group of students who have distinguished themselves by their outstanding academic performance and have now been invited to join the Tri Alpha Honor Society. Former US Secretary of State Colin Powell once said, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work and learning from failure. During your time at Westchester, you've gained new knowledge and skills and grown in confidence. You've taken advantage of the many university resources that exist, such as the Westchester FIRST program to help prepare you for academic and co-curricular success. You've also proven that you can put in hard work and commitment necessary to achieve your goals. Each of you has earned a 3.2 grade point average or higher to be eligible for induction into the Tri Alpha Honor Society. You achieved these high grades during one of the most challenging times our nation and our world has ever seen. Many of you have been juggling work, family and other responsibilities, and perhaps even more so now as a result of the pandemic. Yet while honoring these other important commitments, you have steadfastly pursued your academic goals. You have reached deep within yourself and demonstrated fortitude and grit. By what you have already accomplished, each of you have demonstrated that you have what it takes to excel in your professional career and in the role you will play in your community. As a first generation student, you are part of a long and proud tradition at Westchester University. Throughout our 150 year history, Westchester has always had a large percentage of first generation students. Currently, about 30% of undergraduates at Westchester identify as first generation college students. As you can see, you're not alone and we are here to support you every step of the way. I'd like to take a moment to give special recognition to the many family members and friends who have joined us for this induction ceremony. Your support and encouragement has been integral to your students' success. Thank you for being there for them. To our Honor Society inductees, don't let anyone ever tell you that your goals are unattainable. If you have faith in yourself and the willingness to work hard, you will continue to succeed. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you so much, Dr. Fiorentino. We'd now like to welcome Amando Clayton, class of 2021 and president of Westchester's first student organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, President and Dr. Fiorentino for that warm and those inspirational remarks. Thank you to all of you for being here with us today. I'm Amando Clayton II, a current senior majoring in computer science, and I currently reside as the president of the student organization Westchester's First, a club for first-generation students. Today, I have the distinguished pleasure of welcoming our first group of inductees into the Tri Alpha Society at Westchester University. Before we get started with the induction, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all of you who have generously helped to make this event become a success. From the planning committee to the technical committee, this couldn't have been planned without all of you and all of your support. In today's induction forum, we will be inducting 56 well-deserving students into the Tri Alpha Society. While this event is virtual, you will get the full experience of an in-person event. 
You have been handpicked by the committee at large. Everyone here has a passion and desire for academic excellence, shows great commitment to one another, has a definite dedication for community service, and has an inspiration for education that is a true testament to why you have been selected to be a part of this prestigious organization. I myself, as well as the committee, are quite excited to expand our membership of the Trialfer Society to you. During the next few months, you will have the opportunity to meet with your fellow members of the cohort. You will fulfill the society's aim of academic excellence, leadership, and community engagement. You will lift as you climb. Once again, thank you everyone for joining us tonight, and I am so excited to work with all of you. If you have any questions or if you need assistance with anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Next up, I'm going to ask Steve Sussman to introduce himself and speak on the history of this prestigious organization. Thank you. Hey, Weli Kishku which means, hello, it is a wonderful day in, Le in the Lenape language. As we honor all the inductees tonight, I invite you to take a moment to also honor our, our relationship with this land, which means recognizing not only the original peoples who have inhabited this space, which Westchester University now occupies, but in thinking about our relationship with our more than human kin. So tonight, we acknowledge the land upon which University West, Westchester University is a part of as the traditional territory of the Lenni Lenape called Lepe Lenni Napa Honig. The Lenape people lived in harmony with one another upon this territory for thousands of years. During the colonial era and early federal period, many were forcibly removed west and north. And it's a really important distinction to recognize that many also remain in this, in this area with us today. And these now include the Nanakoke Lene Lenape Tribal Nation, the Ramapo Len Lenape Nation, and the Powhatan Renape Nation, the Nanakoke of Millsboro, Delaware, and the Lenape of Cheswold, Delaware. We acknowledge the Lene Lenape as the original people of this land and their continuing relationship with their territory. In our acknowledgement of the continued presence of Lenape people in their homeland, we affirm the aspiration of the great Lenape chief Temenend that there be harmony between the indigenous people of this land and the descendants of immigrants to this land. As long as the rivers and creeks flow and the sun, moon, and stars shine. Miigwech. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Steve. We'd now like to welcome Dr. Carol Troutman Carr, president of Alpha 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 National Honor Society. Thank you. As um, Devin said, my name is Carol Troutman Carr. I'm the vice provost at Moravian College, which you can see in the background of my photo. It doesn't look like that right now because I, we're buried under 28 inches of snow. Um, I'm also the president and the founder of Alpha Alpha Alpha. I'm so happy to be here tonight. I want to thank Devin and, and Amy for extending that invitation. Uh, to President Fiorentino, um, we've sent you the official charter for the Honor Society. I'm sorry that I can't hand it to you in person. Things being as they are, we're doing lots of things differently in this ongoing pandemic. But we're so happy uh, to have Westchester join us. For me, um, two of my favorite cousins are Westchester grads, so I'm so happy to, to be here with uh, Westchester tonight. We are very excited to uh, welcome the Alpha Iota chapter. Being first gens, um, it going to college as a first gen really changes your life, and it's going to change the life of your children, your grandchildren, um, often your siblings, your cousins, your friends. You are a trailblazer by taking this journey. Um, and it's not an easy one. College is not an easy journey for most people. And it's a little bit harder for, for first gens who don't necessarily know all the lingo that, uh, that we take for granted, like drop ad and bursars, things like that. It was about three years ago, three years ago this past November, that I came to realize that there was no honor society for first generation college students. 
It was around the same time that the uh, first gens were getting a lot of bad press in higher education news. There were a lot of articles about how academically disadvantaged they are. And I thought, yes, yeah, some are, but not everyone. And how economically disadvantaged first gens are. And I thought, yes, yeah, some are, but not all of them. But most importantly, I was um, taking it personally as a first gen college student myself, that there was um, all this negativity and, and not enough to raise, raise up first gens and recognize their achievements. There are so many first gens who have done so many great things. Um, President uh, Bill Clinton and Jimmy Carter, Walt Disney was first gen, actress Viola Davis, Michelle Obama, Alfred, Albert, excuse me, Albert Einstein, Oprah Winfrey, and so many of the people there on your campus who can be role models and mentors to you. You don't have to be famous to do great things, but as a first gen, you are changing lives, your own and those that come after you. Don't let anybody hold you back from what you can achieve. I wanna congratulate you on your achievements to date. Welcome you to Alpha Alpha Alpha. Go and do great things and please stay well. Thank you so much, Dr. Chapman Carr. It was really great to have you tonight. We are excited to join the chapter. Next, we'd like to welcome Dr. Zeb Davenport, Vice President for Student Affairs. Thank you so much, Devin. And I would like to um, add my congratulations along with many of my colleagues to those of you who are being inducted to uh, the Honor Society tonight. I think it is a huge honor and, a, and, a, and a, for me, I think, coming from me as an as a individual who also had the experience of being first gen, it is a great achievement. Um, Dr. Troutman Carr had some wonderful words. The president had some wonderful words. I could go on and on and on about the importance and the specialness of you as first generation college students. But this is what I would want to leave you with. Uh, and it's something that my grandfather actually told me when I went away to college. He said, son, education is the gateway to social mobility. And he said, by you getting an education, you will change generations to come. And so people are looking up to you. People are looking to you as role models. And I would just stress to you to continue to work hard. We know that you have a number of different elements that you have to deal with and obstacles that you have to overcome. But I often say that in order to be great, we have to learn to turn our obstacles into opportunities and our stumbling blocks into starting blocks. And you, my friends, are well on your way. So congratulations. We're very proud of you. And I will always say, Rams up. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you so much, Dr. Davenport. Uh, we'd now like to welcome Dr. Tabitha Adkins. Associate Provost for Student Success and Dean of University College to say a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Pajewski. It's my honor to be here today to speak briefly to this group of our high achieving first generation college students at WCU. It's an honor not only because at Westchester, we celebrate our first gen students who make up more than 30% of our student population, but also because once upon a time, I was also a first generation college student. My first generation experience included all the hallmarks one might expect of someone who didn't know what she didn't know, didn't visit campuses in high school, I applied to one university, I applied for no scholarships, and I was overwhelmed by the entire process. On my first day of campus, I remember very distinctly walking onto campus and thinking to myself, don't mess this up. My family had really high expectations for me and hope that my education would change the trajectory of my family and my future and I was terrified of disappointing the people who loved me. However, through my desire to succeed, I connected with a number of professors who encouraged me, supported me, and challenged me to dream beyond my expectations. In working with these professors and through the lessons they taught me, I saw that I was not alone. Similarly, I met other students who brought similar life experience and expectations to the university, and together we felt less alone. As a first generation college student, you are a kind of pioneer. You are aiming to do something that has never been done before in your family. Being a pioneer can feel kind of lonely, but just as I learned as a college student, you are not alone. And many have said this tonight and I just wanna echo that. Today, you will also see names of other students who are part of Westchester's fantastic first generation students. 
you have so many people who are in your corner at Westchester from you know, all the student support services that we have here on campus to support your success, your professors, the staff and psychs, the librarians, the staff in the student health center, the folks who clean up after us, the administrators who lead us, we all have your back. And we're really proud to work at a university that you chose to fulfill your goal of earning a bachelor's degree. We work hard to live up to the expectations that you have for us. So congratulations to you on your achievement of earning a place in this honor society. We are proud of you, we celebrate you, and we are here because of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Atkins. Next, we'd like to watch a brief video from Dr. Tiffany Jones, who will provide a few remarks as well. Hi Tri Alpha class of 2021. My name is Dr. Tiffany Jones and I'm the learning specialist for the academic success program known as ASP at Westchester University. I am honored to join you uh, today as one of your faculty guest speakers for your special inauguration. I too am a first generation college student. I was born and raised in Chester, Pennsylvania. And uh, when I was younger, extremely shy. I knew I wanted to make my mark on the world. I just didn't know how. <laughs> um, and I, But I knew I wanted to help others. And so my high school principal talked to us about college and, you know, just different opportunities and just ways to make it in the world. And so she arranged trips and identified resources for us. During that time, I didn't know a whole lot, you know, because my family hadn't gone on to school, but I knew it was something that I wanted to try. And so I went and um, applied and I actually went to Hampton University my freshman year of college. And uh, my second year transferred to Temple University. And honestly, college was one of the best experiences of my life and my family was so supportive and excited, you know, and they look forward to hearing about my new adventures and me sharing them with them. My grandfather was extremely ill on uh, my first year of college. And when I was starting my second year, um, his last words to me that I remember was that he was proud of me. He was so excited that I was in college. And he said to me, he said, you got it. And so to this day, um, in moments where I need some motivation or I may lack confidence, I think about that last conversation and he squeezed my hand and said to me, you got it, you got to do this. And so that plays a role to this day in my ability to succeed. Throughout my career, it has been a pleasure serving students. That's just been like the icing on the cake for me, especially working with first gen students because I see myself in you. I'm so excited to witness your journey in this world. This is your time. Enjoy the ride, be resilient, make memories, impact others, be authentic. Congratulations, Tri Alpha, class of 2021. Thank you so much for that video, Dr. Jones. Uh, we'd also like to thank all of the faculty and staff who are first gen who joined us tonight to support our students this evening. It's really appreciated. Um, we'd now like to welcome Lexi McCarthy, Director of Parent and Family Relations, to say a few words to our families and supporters in the audience. Lexi? Thank you, Amy. My name is Lexi McCarthy and I'm the Director of Parent and Family Relations here at Westchester. I have the privilege of welcoming the family members who've joined us this evening to celebrate our incredible tri -alpha inductees. As members of the RAM fam, I hope you're already connected to all the resources from the Office of Parent and Family Relations. But if not, I'll drop my office's website and my email address in the chat if you ever have any questions or concerns. Now that we have that business out of the way, I want to wish a sincere congratulations to your families on this tremendous honor bestowed on your student. We are thrilled that you're here tonight and want to thank you for your ongoing support. We know that college is indeed a family affair and we are so appreciative of all you do to encourage your students' success. 
Thank you so much, Lexi. Okay, now is the time that everyone has been waiting for. Um, now that we have all of our speakers um, say their congratulatory remarks, we will now start the induction ceremony by providing an overview of the history and principles of Alpha Alpha Alpha. So the logo or key includes the number 20, um, 2018, the year in which Alpha 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 or Tri Alpha for short was founded. The logo is a star in the center of several circles, indicating the various communities in which you are a part, the community of Westchester University, the community of Westchester PA, and the community of the wider region and wider world. The star represents you as a star in your family, lighting the way for others to follow your lead into higher education, just as the stars in the heaven above have guided mariners and travelers in days of old. Remember that you are this beacon of light to someone else and you have the responsibility to lead others to light. The pin which you will receive as part of your induction includes the logo as well as the words first gen so that everyone who sees you wearing this pin will recognize the importance of this journey for you. The cords which you will receive at graduation are blue and gray. Using the colors of Moravian College, where the society was founded, the colors are intertwined and demonstrate the connection we all have to each other. We will now perform the initiation pledge. Being first can be hard. Being first can be scary. Being first can be exciting. As part of the first generation in your family to go to college, you are a source of pride and guidance to others. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you recognize your responsibility to your family and to future generations of first, to finish what you started, to be their compass, leading them to their destination when the way seems uncertain, to be the light in darkness, and to support others in their own journey of firsts. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you accept the obligation of thanking those who paved the way before you and who made this journey possible for you. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you accept responsibility of helping others as you, as you have been helped, or perhaps as you wish you had been helped, to serve as mentors and guides for the next group of students to step foot on a college campus as the first in their family or circle of friends. By accepting membership in the Tri Alpha Honor Society, you have an obligation to take pride in your achievements and share your story so that others learn of your accomplishments and can share the joy of your successes. If you accept these responsibilities, please respond with, I do. I do. I do. Okay, so in a normal ceremony, you know, pre-COVID times, at this point, we would ask you to come forward um, as we read your name to receive your pin and sign the registry. This year, we will read your names and show the inductees on the screen. First, we'll induct our undergraduate students. Trevor Banks, Kara Bethas, Mitzi Colin Lopez, Zoe Campanella, Faith Crawford, debate why I went to Chris, period. Tiana Douglas Brown. Rebecca Eck Olson, Nebu Elias, Lauren Fitting, Iana Gerasmidis, Cameron Grajek, Megan Haley, Kelly Hayduk. Caitlin Yuhas, Madison Justice, Victoria Knowles, Shelby Craiglow, Andrew Lavin, Carly LaRosso, I'm sorry, LaRusso. Madison Maine, Lena Morella, Alexis Moyer, Lauren Myers, 
Ben Naroden, Morgan Payton, Olivia Quinones, Kelsey Schwalm, Jasmine Seals, Hannah Stevens, Ashley Stokes, Kirsten Underkoffler, Nicole Walker, Chase Widmeyer, Macy Wright, and Brianna Wagner. Congratulations to each of you. At this time, we are now going to induct our graduate inductees. Nicole Shanae Allen, Tamara Bailey, Melissa Del Colombo, Heather Doyle, Alexandra Evans, Hector Al Febo III, Sarah Foster, Michelle Gerardi, Grace Grant, Kerry Green, Amber Howard, Gamine Howe, Amanda Kennedy, Ho Lee, Bridget Marley, Jacqueline Maxwell, Joseph Machete, Rhonda Parham, Cynthia Prempf, Mariama Quist, Nikki Ross, Melissa Rodeter, Ryan Wasser, and Lindsay Zaslavak. Let's give all of our inductees a round of applause. Congratulations to all of you at, for all of your outstanding accomplishments thus far. Now we'd like to welcome Dr. Jackie Hodes to provide some closing remarks. Thank you so much. I'm so inspired by what we just witnessed in such a short time. Congratulations to everyone. And as a member of the Tri-Alpha Planning Committee, I want to extend my congratulations to all the students who've been inducted into the inaugural class of Tri-Alpha your hard work, your dedication, your commitment to your education are so evident. Congratulations to your family and to your friends who've supported your journey so far. I know they're so proud of you and they will continue to offer their help, assistance, care, and most importantly, their love. As you've heard tonight, we're proud of you, but most importantly, we hope you're proud of yourself. I wanna thank the Tri-Alpha Planning Committee, a committee who, for months and months and months has put student success at the center of their work. And we also want to thank the faculty and staff who took time to join us tonight. Best wishes for 
a really successful spring semester, and we look forward to inducting the next Trialpha class in fall 2021. We hope if we if you can, you'll join us um, and consider uh, reaching out to new folks that will be inducted into Trialpha. Thank you to everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Thank you so much, Dr. Hodes. Let's all give our other inductees another round of applause. I see you all cheering each other on in the chat, which is amazing. Um, just some housekeeping to close us off. Um, we have recorded this, so we will send this to all the students and we will also send the students on um, your individual slide so you can save that. If you did not receive your cords and certificate already, we will be mailing those to you to your home within the next couple of weeks. In closing, take a moment to look around you, around your circle, wherever you are. You are the star in the middle of someone else's circle, just as you are the circle surrounding someone else's star. You are all connected here in this society and in this community. But remember, as Shakespeare once said, it is not the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. So go forth and live in the light. Thank you all for attending tonight and stay well. <laughs>